The bending ability used to take away a person's powers, used by Aang, and to give them back, used by Korra, is called what? I can go like this, and then I go like this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, to another edition of Stan vs. the Internet, the show where we take a major fan on a topic and pit them against the power of a search engine, be it Google, Bing, pick a different one. Today, we are joined by... Say, Hi. A Stan of Avatar. Ooh. It's subtle, couldn't tell? We have the Internet of all <laughs> being played by Kimmy today. Hi, Hi I'm Kimmy the Internet. And as Kimmy, I firmly believe in Sage, and I think she'll do wonderful. And as the internet's, I hope not. Kimmy, do you know much about Avatar outside of being internet Google person today? Oh, not really. I know That's there's a cabbage guy. <laughs> Sage, you are a fan of Avatar. What does that mean for you? I am a big fan of Avatar. Uh, I got made fun of for it a lot as a child is mostly what that means. Okay. Um, I am not as well versed in Korra. Okay. But. I love it very much. Basic rules today is I'm going to read out a question. Sage, as the stan, will have first crack at it. Uh, she's going to have 30 seconds to think, talk it out, maybe walk you through what she's thinking. Hit the button, lock in the answer. If she's correct, the humans get a point. And if she gets it wrong, I'm going to turn it right over to the internet. Kimmy's going to have 30 seconds to Google it, figure it out however she wants to do. As you can see here, we have all of our past rounds where the stan usually overtakes the internet. But today, we made sure our internet connection is working well, so it's uh, who knows? And this one was, Shane and I should've won that one anyway. Shane and I should've won that one. That's cheating. I nah. might as well just put it over. I'm just gonna... Can't cheat. sound a little salty. I have... Hi, Sodium, my doctor is concerned. Um, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's just jump right into it. I'm not Philip DeFranco. Uh, question number one. It was the first one in my stack. What is Sokka's favorite weapon? It's his boomerang until he gets tra trained with a sword much later in the series, but it's his boomerang. That was extra info. The answer is boomerang. Oh, One point for humans right off the bat. Job. You know who Sokka is? No, I don't know who that is. Wait, really? Oh, really? boomerang. Oh, the boomerang. Come yeah. on. Ponytail. Ponytail. Sokka. Sokka. Wolf Wolf okay. All right. <laughs> this one is a little bit more tricky, but for a seasoned fan, it should be fine. What is the phrase used by firebenders to issue a fight of honor between one another? Agni Kai. I think I heard Agni Kai from Sage. That is correct. Wow. All right. I haven't pressed a single key yet. Good job. <laughs> Why don't I go ahead and make things a little bit more tricky me. then? I wish you would. Name the real world martial arts fighting styles of the four different nations in Avatar. So the, the fighting styles that they're bending is based off of. Yes. It's going to take me a minute. Okay. But I have this. I know that earth bending is Hungar, uh, water bending is Tai Chi. Firebending is Shaolin, and uh, airbending is Bagua. Wow! Kimmy, you're boned. That I is correct. That's crazy. That was the hardest one we had. Sure. Kimmy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm just chilling shouldn't today. Be. I don't. Oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't feel good. Shouldn't be at all. I don't know. Shouldn't I haven't be been fun. tested much today, but I'm excited to see what my typing skills are like. Oh, this is a good one, and this is Cora related, so it might be a little trickier <laughs> for you. But you're already three points ahead. We got to see what you can do. Okay. Okay. The bending ability used to take away a person's powers, used by Aang, and to give them back, used by Korra, is called what? A. Will bending, B. Force bending, C. Spirit bending, or D. Energy bending. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of, That's a lot of okay, stuff. Okay, I'm right just there. gonna go for it. I, I think that it's. I think that it's. Spirit. No. Uh, and. Mm -hmm. I can go like this, and then I go like this. Go like this. Go like this. I'm gonna say, I think it is actually energy bending, but it might be spirit. It's, I'm, gonna say, I'm sticking with my answer. The sage was right, Kimmy. Oh my god, oh my god. sage! <laughs> I was so convinced I was gonna start typing something. I was also convinced I was gonna start typing something. I would have had to have the spirit bending would have involved the spirit world. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right, here's, here's one that I think is a little bit tricky. Maybe, maybe we'll get some uh, conflict going here. Let's go. Who was the youngest airbending master in history? <gasps> in history. Tenzin's daughter, Janora? What? Yes! <laughs> yes, it's Janora! I thought that was gonna be so tricky because I was I'm like, so she's gonna say Aang. No. Oh, but like, it even says Janora, Aang's eldest granddaughter. Like, yeah. Huh? Tenzin is Aang's son. Yeah. Kimmy, what are you doing? I don't know, man. I don't know what my purpose is here. She's so good. You're here for a morality. She's doing so good. Which of these symbols represents the Order of the White Lotus? 
Uh, left or right? Oh, it's either one or three. They look similar. I'm gonna say three. Ooh. Say that's right, number three! Jimmy, come on. Hey, I had a purpose that time. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta amp up the stakes here, yeah. as I often do for people, because the people are often super behind. This is not the case today. Mm -mm. If the internet gets a point, maybe it's worth two. I don't know. I'm in control. Ciao. Ang and Katara had three children. What are their names? Oh, I think I've only got two out of three. Uh, uh, Tenzin, Boomy, and I don't remember the waterbender's name. Well, this is a potential two points for Kimmy. If you don't, I'm going to need an answer in 14 seconds. I don't know it. I don't remember her name. Then the Kimmy has a chance to steal. It's children. Yes. Let's see. Did I you spell Aang three? right? Is there two? Okay, I I have them. Wonderful. I'm, I'm gonna mess up these pronunciations real bit. Uh, Bo Boomy, uh, Tenzin, and Ka Kaya, Kaya. Kaya. The answer is Tenzin, Boomy, and Kaya. Kaya, I didn't know. Kaya. Kaya. I was Kaya. nowhere in there. No there one was none. Kaya. Kaya. I spelled Katara wrong, but it didn't matter. But you spelled Aang right? I spelled Aang right. Are you the Avatar wrong? Well, I'll tell you what, you fat little in Korra's on-screen career as the Avatar, mm. which group of people was she indirectly responsible for reviving? Which group of people was she indirectly responsible for? Oh, do you mean like which, uh, like, like the Air Nation? I just didn't think that as a group of people. The answer is like, the Airbenders or the Air Nation. It's the entire nation. nation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she brought back by opening up the spirit world, uh, she brought back the Airbenders. That is correct. With even more information than needed, you're just destroying this is like, stop, I he's already chance. dead. Maybe you should give me like six points for the next one. I don't know, Kimmy, that sounds like a great idea. I think that sounds good. You having a good time? Danny, how are you? You guys ask us I'm how we're okay? I'm having a great time. You having a good time? I'm a little hungry. Do you want me to eat, you want me to eat that bun? Can I have sound? the nut button instead? <laughs> there you Thank go. You. This one is tricky. We'll see if you get it. In what familial way are Aang, Zuko, and Azula related? Somehow they have a connection more than just meeting each other in the show. What familial way? I mean, this this is a, a stretch here, but in theory, would it be that in the most recent past life of Aang, he was a firebender. Um, he was, it's not, that, that firebender's not a descendant. Like, uh, Zuko and Azula aren't descendants of um, Avatar Roku. I don't, I'm gonna say by Ava Avatar Roku. I think I gotta give it to her, no? Specifically, Zuko's mother is the granddaughter mm -hmm. of Avatar Roku, mm -hmm. who was Aang in his past life. life. Yes. What? Right? <laughs> well, Kimmy, you would've gotten that. My brain hurts. You did You did the damn thing. Good, good. Wacky sh <laughs> 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 All right, so currently the point total is Sage the human with eight. Kimmy the robot with two. It. It's anybody's game. So if Kimmy gets points, I'm gonna give her double points as I've been doing. This yeah. is the one that I was a little, I'm not sure about, but I could very much be wrong. Let's see here. <laughs> Name the four original bending masters. Um, okay, so it's the dragons, the mole rats, I think they are. Um, uh, the uh, uh, air bison, I guess. And what would be, I don't know if we actually really see the water one. I just looked up what a mole rat looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the 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 island animal, like the one that has the whole thing that he meets in the water? That has oh. a whole freaking island on his back. Sage, I would want to give this to you so bad, but the internet is exploding right now. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn it over to Kim. All right, exploding! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Betting masters. Oh no, no. Oh God, okay. How much time do I got? Like eight seconds. Jesus. Five, four. Okay, okay, three. so um, here's what I'm gonna do. All I could find Where was a I that, literally, that was all that popped up. Read it out. <laughs> all that popped up was this. So I'm gonna tell you all their names. <laughs> I need, you have negative 10 seconds. So it's I a koi, koi fish <laughs> for water. Oh, uh, 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 us, us, the, the mole. S sloth mole for earth, dragon for fire, and what the f is that for air? Um, 
That's a uh, Snuffleupagus. That's gonna be a spicy, meteoric no from me, Kimmy. <laughs> Nobody gets the points this round. The answer, which I now understand because I thought it was the lion turtle stew mm -hmm. um, originally, the answer is the sky bison, mm -hmm. the dragons, bison. the badger moles, and badger the moon. What? That's rough, buddy. Wait, what? That's rough, buddy. Out of all the subclasses of bending, example, lightning bending, blood bending, metal bending, and, and flight, only one subclass of bending can be considered a fusion class. What is the name of that bending? Is it lava bending? <laughs> Sage, it is lava what? bending. Lava bending can only be achieved by someone who has one earth parent and one fire parent. Lava. That sounds dope. That would make the floor as lava so much more interesting if there was a lava bender there. <laughs> Three points for you if you get it right. It's gonna be insane. When Avatar Korra was about six years old, which of the elements could she bend? Well, she's a waterbender by nature, and I believe the second one she took was earthbending. Kimmy! Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh boy. Okay. Even as a young child, it would bend do. Okay. Which element could she bend? Yes. All, all of them. Air, water, earth, and fire. Kimmy, that is incorrect. Can I steal it back? Can I steal it back? I, I don't <laughs> think you need the points, but you can say everything it for your joke. Everything but air. Okay. It was everything but air. You're not getting the points, but you do get our respect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've only got two more questions. It's anybody's game. Kimmy, if you get this right, it's four points. Oh my God, yay. Uh, the name of the city that Aang and Zuko founded together, which is the setting for Korra's adventures, is called what? A, New Pork City. B, Liberal City. C, Republic City. D, Metropolis. Parentheses, you know that place that Superman lives. The third one. Republic City. Republic City, that Republic is right. Republic City! Okay, it's anybody's game. Yeah, it These is. These are mostly Korra questions. Yeah, really. And to cap it off, worth, how many points does Sage have? 10, you got 10 points, you got two. I have worth two. <laughs> seven or eight points, depending on how I feel at the time, because people need a win. It's been a hard year. How many years was Avatar Aang frozen in the ice? Sage. Hundred years. Hundred years. Sage is the winner. Woo! Sage, you are the most Avatar stand person I've ever met. Woo! That's incredible, Kimmy. Thank you. I'm you good feeling? too. I feel great. You did great um, on the cu on the couple opportunities you had. You did pretty well. No, I didn't. All right, Sage, you get the ultimate prize, which is another victory for humanity. You get the stand oh. magnet there. Look at her go. Look at her hair. She just got it done. Thank you so much to both Sage and Kimmy for being such great sports today. Thank you for coming by. And thank you to Damien. Oh. Hey. That's, that's... And thank you to my mother. Nope. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check out our other videos. If you're not done with Smosh content for the day, we definitely have more for you. You could click over here or over here. Check out our Twitch streams, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We do a lot of stuff live. We've done a live one of these before. Let us know if you want to do one of those again. And until then, can you do me a favor? Can you have a great day? Swipe up!